guys, so it is Tessa here. In case you've never seen my face, hello and it's nice to meet you. Today I'm coming at you guys with seven of my favorite butt exercises. So I suggest using ankle weights or one of those circular bands for these exercises. But if you have no access to that equipment or if you're simply just not strong enough, you can literally just do it with no equipment all by yourself, which is always awesome. So these are seven of my favorite butt exercises. I'd recommend trying to do these every other day and after a couple weeks you'll be seeing some very good butt results. It's almost summer and we gotta get our butts looking good. You know all that good stuff. So um yeah, also another cool thing about these exercises are they will simply just tone and grow your glutes, your butt. They will not increase the size of your legs at all. Maybe they'll tone up your legs, but they will not 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 grow the size of your legs. I'm a dancer and the last thing I want is to increase the size of my legs, but I still want a nice butt. I mean, let's just be honest. So yes, guys, these are my favorite seven butt exercises and let's get on into this. For the first exercise, you're going to lay down and you're going to put your knees, hips, and shoulders in a straight line and then bend your legs in a 90 degree angle. Then you're going to simply just turn your top leg out. Make sure your feet are flexed so that you engage your butt. And remember, lift your leg with your butt, not any other muscles. This one you'll really feel in your glutes and then also the outside of your hips. Make sure for all these exercises you keep your abdominals fully engaged. And now for this one, again, you're going to be in the same position but you're going to straighten your top leg and you're going to kick it up as high as you can and then control it down. This one you'll really feel on the outside of your hip. Make sure that you have your foot fully flexed and your leg all the way straight. Now this one you're going to bend your legs in a 90 degree angle, straighten your top leg and make sure to really flex the foot and you're going to just pulse up. So you want, it par you want your leg parallel to the ground and then just pulse up. For this next exercise, it's my favorite one to do at the end of a workout. I usually do it until failure, so I really get my butt burn. And what you do is you flex your top leg all the way so you engage the backs of your leg, and then you simply just pulse up. Make sure to only pulse using your butt. Don't engage any other muscles so you get that butt burn, and keep your leg completely parallel so that you only engage the backs of your legs rainbows so what you're going to do is flex your top foot straighten the leg and go corner to corner so the goal is to kick your leg up as high as you can while carrying it over corner to corner this one will get the overall glutes make sure to really kick your leg up and control it down and then as I said earlier keep your foot flexed your leg completely straight and then make sure to engage your abdominals this one is actually one of my favorite ones. This one's also good to do if you have a bench or something. So then you can lower your foot lower than the ground. Then you'll feel your butt even more, I promise. Next, we're going to do these kickbacks. So again, you're going to lay on your side, put your legs at a 90 degree bent angle, and you're going to bring your leg in all the way and then kick it out. This one's really important that you keep your leg completely parallel. You don't want to turn it out or anything like that. Make sure your knee and your feet are fully in line. Bring it all the way up to your chest and then kick it out. Really carry the leg over with the butt rather than any other muscles. This one's super duper good. I promise you'll feel it. Next up, we're going to do these fire hydrants. So as you can see, you're going to go on your hands and knees, bend your leg at a 90 degree angle, and then you're just simply going to lift your leg. Make sure you keep your knees and your feet in line and also flex your foot. And the goal is to lift your leg all the way up, only engaging your butt. This one's so good for toning up the outsides of your butt. So make sure you do this one correctly and just really control it. Next up, we're going to do these donkey kicks. So as you can see, you're going to go on your hands and knees. You're going to bring your leg as far into your chest as possible and then kick it back. The goal is to kick back fast and then slowly control it. Make sure your foot is flexed and then you straighten your leg all the way. Try to keep your leg as parallel as possible so you only engage the butt. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Please try these exercises at home. Comment if you have any questions about them. Please like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that good stuff, get your butt looking good for the summer. <laughs> I love you guys and I will see you in two days.